currently we're looking at the Harmony block diagram. Harmony is a layered modular architecture. Uh, at the lowest layer we have our peripheral libraries, which are simple accessor functions that maintain no state of their own. They just provide uh, a function interface that stays consistent from one part to another, uh, no matter which PIC32 part you choose. Uh, above that we have our device driver layer. Um, that's the device drivers they're responsible for uh, maintaining that peripheral, uh, initializing it properly, and providing a, uh, a consistent and a simpler file system-like interface uh, to interact with that peripheral. Middleware layers are written using uh, the device drivers, and they, that's sort of our catch-all category. Uh, in the middleware, we implement more complex protocol support for things like networking stacks, TCP IP, uh, USB protocol stack, graphics libraries. Um, things that are, you know, are somewhat substantial technologies that uh, you don't necessarily want to implement yourself as part of your application. Uh, Microchip and its third-party partners can help you for you. In order to avoid conflicts and provide uh, access to common resources like uh, interrupt control, timers, um, I.O. control, uh, our, we have a set of common system services that are factored out of those libraries that those libraries use then to access those common resources. Our operating system abstraction layer, the OCEL, is sort of a bridge between the MPLAB Harmony libraries and third-party RTOSs, or we have also the a bare metal implementation of that, that for a single-threaded environment where you have no operating system. The configuration piece is necessary to put these, you know, select which blocks you're going to use and put them, uh, you know, define the buffer sizes and various other parameters that each library uh, supports. Um, that configuration is provided for you or presented to you by the MPLAB Harmony configurator, the MHC. Uh, that's our graphical tool that you'll get a demonstration of in our second webinar in this series. And uh, it provides an easy way to create these configurations and put together systems. <laughs>